Main for a holler in the hills of Appalachia. No, sir, you wouldn't know the name. Welcome to episode six of Building My Own Showalter Guitar. I'm building an Osage Orange Sycamore Topped uh, OM by my friend Steve at Showalter Guitars. If this is your first time watching one of these videos, I'm excited you're here. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy. Make sure you're subscribed. Let's go in there and build. I think today we're gonna do a couple things. We are going to jump into, I believe we're bracing the top and we're doing a lot of inside work. So there's probably gonna be a lot of details and sanding stuff. So anyway, let's go in here and see what's up with uh, with Papa Steve. Mr. Esteban. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I've never called you Esteban. I don't know why I started today. And Joyce, oh, Joyce was here. But anyway, um, this is episode six. How crazy is that? That is crazy. Cool, so what's on the docket today? Uh, you need to uh, take uh, all these, they're square right mm -hmm. now, and uh, they need to be rounded. Rounded over. Uh, like this, and cut to length to fit in here and glued down. Okay, and that's, will that be basically the majority of the stuff to the back? Yeah, I've already brought these down t to size here, um, and so if we get all these put in, then it, okay. it's ready to be glued in. Okay. Once you're, once we cut all the notches into the sides. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. and then after that, uh, whatever we can do on this to get this ready, this is going to take up the rest of your time getting the rest of the braces on here, pin block under here, and so you uh, did some already. Yeah. Did the X brace and these little ones and it's just about dry enough now and so one of the things that we've talked about is uh because i don't have the time to commit to do every single thing so steve has jumped in so thanks for doing this this is super exciting and uh so some of the braces have already been done and there's a good scallop already on on this one yeah that's roughed in scallop i put that on before i put it in and then i uh bring them down to what sounds best. Okay. <clears throat> Plenty of work to do today, so let's get to it. Okay. Uh, just make sure this paper is always inside the edge of this metal. Okay. Instead of hanging over. Okay. Because boy, if that comes out there and you put your finger. Oh, that'll just Yeah, chop. that would hurt. <laughs> uh, so, and then, but then your uh, sander marks are pretty uh, coarse and going the wrong direction. Okay. Uh, so then, so then after I do this, oh, both the rain is, yeah, then I turn it this way and, and lightly just uh, hold my fingers on there. Just, okay, you just clean don't push this. down too hard here. You'd be digging in here. So you kind of got it there and just round it up, turn around. Okay. Only, only touched my finger one time. 
How do you have all ten fingers? That's a miracle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what comes next? Gulu and a mullen. Okay. Make sure that this is in the center. You mm -hmm. slide that in right there, and then yours. So, see, that would be wrong. Oh, mine's so not square. So you'd have to bring... Uh, no, it's not that. It's just that when you come down, you just want to, like, if you get yeah. this on the center on one end, and then you got to get it right down at the other end okay. with the glue on it. Okay. And then, but then you, you kind of, you use, use the one that you just finished putting in and line this one up, make sure it's lined up with this one. Okay. Damps off the middle line a bit. Scoot. So I'm like not getting not getting them straight. Well, they're straight, but they're like see how this one. Well, it got off straight because mm -hmm. you would have been right down here, so it's going back. So if I can scoot this one. Yeah, if you can still scoot it, it doesn't take long. You it locks <laughs> with that okay. glue. Um, try it. I need two more braces. And block some little gadgets like you, like this. Cleats. Okay. The back with the walnut. Yeah, that's ready to work. Oh. Um, so. How long ago did, did you get this done? Maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we need to leave it a little while. in and on that end. So what you can do is you can start out with these two mm -hmm. and then you can use these all the way up to here. Putting the bridge plate in? Use them to, to fasten this thing and make sure. So this wants to, this got a little bit of a mm -hmm. curve. So you're going to want to make Don't sure to it. get the edges and uh, mainly, yeah, but this also in the middle. It, it, you'll have a lot of it. Okay, and this is the Osage yes. for the bridge plate? Yes. So it's blue and just uh, that off. And I'll work on these other uh, two bricks. 
It's not time to fit the bridge plate. It doesn't quite fit the line across. Well, that's an approximate line. Okay. This is just go in where it fits tight against here and here. Got it. between the two cut lines and come in halfway and then uh, pick it up and go in from this side. Should you check these before I go to the other side? Oh yeah, I meant to check it. Oh. Line this up. Line this up. And does that go in? Oof. I had to slide it. Oh, we're farther up this way than I thought we were. Okay. They fit in there. They fit in. <laughs> All right, so now you didn't trim with with the uh, file. No, they're just on the router. Okay, so uh, this one is a little better. But look, this one hardly has any indenting at all. And it, so evidently you have the router leaning back okay. this way. I still have a gap everywhere, so you need to file it down. Just, just go little, down lower. A little more. Uh, maybe you could do it with the router. So it, that that would keep you from going too deep. Um, I'll do the router and just make sure that I'm yeah. level. Yeah. down here 
and it's down here. But you see the little gap mm -hmm. close to the brace? And then this one I took a little more, but I think I might just take even more to get it over there. Well, get it in line. Better get it lined up with the uh, center here. <laughs> this here's a little. Uh, see it when you cut, if you go like this. You can see yeah. it go. Okay, it goes down once right you get past it. Like you know, sometimes when you have a little bit of a CNC machine. What you got? Yeah, that's, that's what they're for. Uh -huh. Okay, are we ready? I believe so. All right, lay this aside. This will be down, and then if you have squeeze out, it won't run down the side. Got it. Top, back on there. Line it up to the center. Hold on to this, flip it over. Ooh, that's something we didn't check. Oh no. This is terrible. Are we on the center over there? Yeah. Look, we gotta get that. We should have tested it this, tested it. Move it away, I'll work the best I can. That's <laughs> all. Here, how much we gotta take off of it. And here. I think you get that chisel and tap it in this way. Um, here's, here's one. Go up from this end, just, yeah, now just tap it. I believe we got it. Okay. Let me know if this is done. Hang on to this. Well, let's see, so it's the end of day six, this is episode six. My phone, my camera died, so we're using my phone. But, uh, so at the end of today, we have the back of the guitar and the rim all glued up, being pressed together. We made sure we had push out our, uh, squeeze out all around the outside. And then, yeah, only, only one almost mishap where my finger today touched down on the belt sander. And, uh, but yeah, other than that, we had one quick moment of like, oh no, what did we do? Right there at the end where we had to, we'd realized the, the center strip, what do you call that? The sycamore on the center strip. Oh, reinforcement. Yeah, whatever that reinforcement was, we realized we hadn't trimmed off the end. Because there are three guitars being built at the same time and we're making these videos. So it got a little spicy there for a second, but we're good. And um, so anyway, so that's the end of day six. Make sure you subscribe. I'm Jeremy. That's Steve. That's Joyce. Joyce, can we show him your guitar very yeah, quickly? Absolutely. So. Here's the top. Sycamore. This grain is just dreamy. And then top is all braced up. I just finished sanding. And we're ready now to join 
that with the back and sides. This and walnut is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. So walnut with sycamore top. Man, that really yeah. is beautiful. And there's there's a party trick to this one. You got some spalting oh, yeah. on this uh -huh. one as well. Yeah. Which yeah. I've never seen spalted walnut, but I know. I mean, either. <laughs> so cool. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks, Steve, for letting me do this. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out Showalter Guitars. Link in the description down below. Bye.